Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new episode of Tsukiga Kira, or you can call it As the Moon So Beautiful, or The Moon Is Beautiful, on episode 11. This episode right here shows certain things of disagreements and struggles of what one person can go through, and I'm pretty sure most of us might have been through this at least one time in their life, whether it be studies, academics, or even situations where we have to make a choice and see how far we are committed to it. And... If anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Kotaro is studying really hard and trying to decide to see what school he wants to go to. But he already made his decision. He wants to go to Kome private school. His mother was really upset about this, especially his father a bit. And he pretty much got into a major argument with them, telling them to shut up in a certain way. I'm thinking in my mind, yo, man, you gotta be careful right there. At least, like, um... Something like that just shows a lot of pressure right now, especially for Kotaro himself. As for Akana, she's studying real hard and she ends up having some small talk with her sister by saying like, um, you guys should like um, break up or something. It's not, you, it's not that you'll be together with your whole lives or something. And Akane says like explicitly, we won't break up. Which is really, really touching and emotional right there because when it comes to certain couples, it doesn't tend to work out at certain points, but that's how life is. We all know that. We've seen it, and we might have seen other couples break up because of certain situations. Although most of the episode, we do see Kotaro working really hard, and try, and he, he is doing everything he's can, he can for the Kome private, private high school exam, you know? And aside from that, he gets a text message from Akane to meet up with her for Merry Christmas, and we have to it that they exchange each other's for gifts. Uh, Kotaro gets her some kind of handkerchief thing for her for a track, and Kotaro gets a gets a handmade scarf, which is really really sweet. I really like that. And they end up talking to each other, saying that we're gonna work this out somehow and keep going. And they end up kissing each other, which is pretty cute. I actually like that. And as for Kotaro, he ends up getting a result from Akane, and she passed. And I go like, "Woo, dude, that's what I'm talking about. She passed, and she's going to Kome High Private School." As for Kotaro, it's his turn right now. And we have to it that Kotaro does get a little like um, message to from his father by saying, you know, your mother fought for you for wanting to give you a chance to go to Kome private school because how how you're putting so much effort into this. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. Should you really fail the exam, you're going to a municipal high school or something. So if Kotaro fails, he has to go to a certain high school in public or something, but I don't know. But whatever the case may be, we also see to it that his mother is preparing some onigiri rice balls for him. And she tells him to not push, push him, overdo it, overdo himself. And we also see to it that um, Kotaro is getting ready for his exam day next day, and he's getting ready to go. And the episode ends up with the credits rolling, etc. and so forth. So overall, what I could really find in this episode in simple like sentences is that Kotaro's studying real hard. He got into a fight with his parents, but they still support him to the end, but gave him other options. Akane passed her exam for Kome Private High, and apparently that's about it. Although they did hang out on Christmas for a bit and give, a ki give each other gifts and kisses, you know, which is really, really sweet. I actually enjoyed that. But when it comes to like um, what's really bound to happen in the next episode, I think I kind of got a little small minor, small or big major spoiler from a forum or from a discussion I kind of read, which I made a big mistake reading that. I don't really know what's really, really, really bound to happen, but whatever the case may be, whatever happens in the next episode, it could really break my heart or tear it to really bad shreds right now because like... um. You know, sometimes in life, like, um, when people work really, really hard, especially when they're trying to get into a school, sometimes they, d they don't get in, even after their hard work is not really, like, um, even though when they put in a lot of work and even though they try to make, fix up some things and do the best they can and work harder than before to get into a certain location, school, job, whatsoever, it just doesn't work out. We all know that we all pretty much have been through that many times before, at least once in our life, or maybe twice, who knows, three times. That even though when you work really hard and so forth, depending on how much effort you put into, sometimes certain results may not come out the way you want them to. But that's just me bragging on, but whatever happens in the next episode, I don't know what's really bound to happen, but whatever happens can either make 
or break my heart really badly. But I kind of got an, a little major spoiler from someone about uh, about a certain text, which I made a big mistake reading it, which I should never have done that. I don't know what it meant in a certain way, but it didn't say explicitly or what's really bound to happen. But we just had to figure it out. So overall, I thought the episode was pretty was pretty sweet, pretty cool. Makes me appreciate a lot of things. What to be thank, what to be very thankful for. So we don't know what's really bound to happen. Even I don't know. I can give a couple guesses, but after what I kind of been spoiled a bit of what's the major though, we don't really know if that's the real real translation though. But we'll have to find out. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So all right, I'm off of zero people. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye bye. Do do do.